Here comes that white faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit. Wants to stab your sister's tits cause he's a white faced fucker. Loomis can't recover. Dr. Challenge drunk again, sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you want to know about the darkness? I said, God damn. God damn you, faggot. Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I am Mike, and we have another Halloween Ends update for you. I'm excited in the crotch regions. Now, some of this stuff that we're going to cover, we actually covered a couple days ago in the live stream. Uh, there's a little bit of new news as well, but just in case you weren't there for that during the live stream when we covered that and everything else and talked about Doctor Strange and everything else that was going on, you should go check that out because that was a great time. I'll put a link down below to it. Uh, but we will cover some of the stuff we talked about there just for the people who aren't at the live streams. But... Also, there is new news. So this new news is, this is going around the internet today, and in my opinion, it's something everybody's taking the wrong way. <laughs> At least a lot of people are. So this came out on Instagram. Ryan Freeman, who's a producer for the Halloween series, he, he put on Instagram uh, the pictures of these printed in blood books, which are pretty fucking dope, if you ask me. And somebody asked him, Lincoln646 said, there's a dude on Facebook saying the ends trailer is going to drop June 23rd. Is there any accuracy at all? And Ryan Freeman replied, sounds legit. Now, a bunch of people have taken this, and they're all over the internet saying, Confirmed! Halloween in this trailer, June 23rd. It's coming, baby! Woo! Boy! <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. No, 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 they didn't. That's awesome, and I hope it is. That'd be cool. But who sent a text in their life that has gotten misconstrued and started a fucking fight? You know, I know I have. You got to read this with a hint of sarcasm, I feel like. I feel like him just saying, hey, some dude on Facebook said this is the date. And Ryan Freeman just goes, yeah, sounds legit. I'm sure it fucking is. You know what I mean? Like some dude on Facebook. I think there's a lot of sarcasm to that. Um, you know, and also sarcastic is the way the weed eater guy always comes right up to the window when I'm filming. Oh, no, here he comes again. Oh. Oh. There he is. Gotta get it all. You gotta get every bit of it. Game on! Game on! That being said, you know what comes out June 23rd, or June 24th? It's the black phone. Uh, Blumhouse's thing. So it makes total sense. The trailers usually drop in June, I think. And then... At least one of them has dropped in June before. I know that for a fact. So it's dropped in June before. That's the perfect date for an October release date. Blumhouse has another film dropping that date, June 24th. And it's a horror film. Seems to me the day before that is the perfect time to release the trailer online. And then the trailer fronts the movie. So those dates are great dates. And you know what? That's what a lot... I'm not saying that this dude on Facebook is doing. But a lot of these websites, like we got this covered and shit like that. What do they do? They pick something that may, would make sense to happen. You know, they lie and say they got a scoop about it. And then they put the story out there. And if they're wrong, guess what? Nobody ever fucking remembers that they're bullshit. You know what I mean? But if they're right, they clip that single source and they use it for every article. The same source who told us this happened and that ended up true. So now you have to believe it's about everything. Uh, and again, I'm not saying that the dude on Facebook's doing this, but this just seems like, hey, that date makes sense. It makes sense that someone would go, how am I going to say that I know it's going to come out that date and whatever. You know, a lot of people do shit like that. Could it come out on that date? Very possibly, you know? But I still think Ryan is being sarcastic here. Like, I think that's what's going on. That's just my guess. What do you guys think? How do you take it? How do you take your coffee? Black like you take your men? Me too. Okay, so now that that issue is settled, let's talk about some of the news we talked about the other day. We'll cover it real quick for you guys again. This was cool because we kind of sort of broke a little bit of news. Usually we just sprain it, you know, put the finger in it, play with it a little bit. But this time we broke it ourselves. Halloween Kills novelist Tim, Tim Wagner. He was on our show before. Uh, he interviewed us as well as John Passarello from the first Halloween, uh, from Halloween 2018's novelization was also on the show. They were nice enough to come on. Uh, I tweeted to Tim. <laughs> Tim put out this thing. It's funny because he just put out this thing, this chickpea tweet. And he's like, hey, my wife and I like this pizza. And me being the asshole I am, I was like, hey, you should try the Quest pizza. That's pretty good too. And then I was like, oh, by the way, hey, are you doing the new Halloween Kills novel <laughs> or Halloween Ends novel? And uh, he actually uh, gave, us, gave us the scoop on that. He said, the filmmakers told Titan, which I guess is the publishing company, uh, that they wanted two other writers to do the novelization. So Titan had to go with them. I don't know who they are. 
So uh, that's a little bit of news. There will be there will be a Halloween Ends novelization. That is concrete. That's happening. And uh, it's going to be two writers this time. And it's not going to be, sadly, Tim Wagoner or John Passarella, who both did great jobs with the novelizations. I'm going through uh, this one as we speak right now and plotting out all the little differences. So that'll be a video that's going to be out, I think, probably by next week. I should be done with it. Way too late on that video, by the way. Uh, but that's some news. And then also, I found this to be interesting. Jason Blum and Jamie Lee Curtis were at a business convention a couple days ago. And they were asking them. It was a super awkward fucking interview, by the way. Oh, my God. It was the, the lady who was doing the panel. I don't know what her deal was. But they seemed to fucking hate her guts and want to run her over with a Jeep Wrangler. And she seemed like she was very, very high on, like, quaaludes. Uh, it was fucking weird, man. You should find it on the internet and watch it just for the awkward City 5000 of it all. In this, some stuff came out about Halloween. Uh, Jason Blum said that he has not seen Halloween Ends yet, that he would be seeing it for the first time in two weeks, which is very interesting. It'll be interesting to, to hear the tone that comes out of him and others around them once the movie's screened, probably for him and others. Uh, so in two weeks, you might start to get some, some press reactions from them out of that, maybe, when people start to interview him again. And then the other part of that that's very interesting is a lot of us have talked about, and again, check out the live stream because we talked about this in depth, uh, what Halloween's going to do next. Uh, if Blumhouse is going to have the rights or is it going to go to a TV show? A lot of us think TV show because it makes no sense probably to within like a two year window start a whole new James Bondish kind of jumping into a new story point of Halloween in theaters. But you could do a TV show sooner and then do a do a movie then in like five years, 10 years, uh, however you're going to do that. Uh, so TV makes sense, especially now. It's not like back in the day when they would do Friday the 13th series and stuff and they didn't have the budget and it was bad. Today, TV has the quality of film. So if you put it on the right thing, Netflix, HBO Max, something like that, it could be a hit. It could really work on TV, uh, just in my opinion. But anyways, he commented on that as well. He said, it's a trilogy. The rights revert to our friend Malik, Malik Akkad. Uh, what he does now, I'd be hard-pressed to believe at some point he won't look at those rights and think. But... Who knows? Maybe it'll be a TV show next. Who knows? We are contact. We are contracted for three movies, and this will be our last one. So even Jason Blum has the idea of a TV show spinning around his head somewhere. Uh, uh, Malik has hint, has said that they've thought about going to TV before, so maybe they go back to that thought now. Um, but he says, as it stands now, Blumhouse still only has rights to this movie. So it'll go back to Trankus, and then they'll decide who to give the rights to next. Blum has said before that he would like to make more Halloween content, if given the chance to. So I think that's a strong playing point here. There may be a negotiation, maybe a money thing, who knows. But I think that right now we're still in the same boat we are. Uh, now, they could have a contract. They could be working on something like, hey, let's wait till ends comes out. Let's do that whole thing because we don't want to muddle it up. Let's focus on ends only. Uh, and it could be anything like that. Who knows? Maybe they already have a TV show ready to go. I don't know. You don't know how these things work. You know what I mean? But um, I do think it was interesting that he actually mentioned TV and uh, that he once again confirmed, hey, I don't know what's happening next. Finally, I saved this for last because... Uh, <clears throat> When we did this in the live stream, I mentioned that the post said spoilers on it and a bunch of people left. I will say that it says spoilers. I don't see this as a spoiler whatsoever. This is complete conjecture for me. It's just a cast listing uh, that I'm going to talk about. But if you absolutely are scared to death of it and you want to stay away from it, I just want to give you plenty of warning to click off now. This is the last bit of news, so you didn't miss nothing. Um, but I found this to be really interesting, and it involves uh, a cast listing story that came out months ago. It's months old. Um, but I, I, there's a thread to Dennis Edgerson's Halloween four, uh, that's in this. So in this post made by Valestrada on, uh, Reddit, shout out Valestrada, uh, posted that they found this, this article from Murphy's multiverse, uh, that was posted a few months back and it's just got a cast listing and it's just got all these people's names. No, no big spoilers or anything like that. Uh, just all the people we know are going to be in the movie, uh, the characters that they were casting for before, right? Uh, but what jumps out and was very interesting, and I didn't think of this myself, this came from You Seen the Butcher uh, down below, so shout out to you on Reddit. They said, the proprietor stands out to me as that was the name of a character in Dennis Etchison's Halloween 4 script, who was also an older guy. Could be a coincidence, though. Now, you see the proprietor on here is listed proprietor age 40 to 80. I thought that was really interesting, so I went back and I looked at the Halloween 4 script. 
and the proprietor is this is wild so there's a character i think her name is darcy in the halloween 4 script now dennis edgerton made a script for halloween that didn't end up getting used it was a wild script in which he attacks a bunch of kids at a drive-in which is cool but then like the cops shoot him and he starts to grow literally starts to grow in size and it's like 12 feet tall and his hand injury he has he has his fingers cut off in one scene and they just grow back. Wild shit. I, I don't think we'll ever see that on screen, but it does make me very interested because there's a character in the Halloween 4 script, as you've seen the butcher said, called the proprietor. And what happens in this script is this character, Darcy, goes to buy pumpkins. Now, Halloween's been canceled in Haddonfield. So she has to drive outside the city limits, by the way, also where Michael appears to be killing if you look at the Megan Baxter mix, missing person poster. Um, she drives outside of Haddonfield lines to buy pumpkins. She meets a character in the script called the proprietor, who is an older guy who's a drunk, who's super creepy. And he basically is being creepy to her about the pumpkins, tells her to go look at all of his pumpkins that he has, says that they don't know how to party in Haddonfield anymore because they canceled Halloween, tells her he'll be right back. He's going to walk across the street to the liquor store because uh, he's a drunk. Uh, meanwhile, she's walking through the pumpkin patch. She accidentally knocks over a bunch of pumpkins at one point. Michael pops out from behind the pumpkins and murders her in the middle of the pumpkin patch. Now, while I don't love the idea of Michael hiding in a bunch of pumpkins, that sounds kind of stupid. Uh, I would love to see a murder scene in broad daylight. Michael Myers murdering someone in a pumpkin patch. How rad would that fucking be? But this is a little bit of a stretch. Uh, but just the fact that proprietors in here, proprietor could mean the name of any business. You know what I mean? So it is quite a stretch. I just wanted to throw it out, throw out that, that connection there in case there ends up being any connection to it. That's pretty interesting. So uh, let me know what you guys thought about that. Let me know what you guys think about all this news. And I hope that you guys have an amazing weekend. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And again, uh, we have the two videos I want to lead you to now. Uh, the live stream where we talk about all this in very much depth, and we do these live streams once a week. So m make sure that you're subscribed and have the bell click so that you're notified when we do them because you can interact with us and we can talk about Halloween together. It's a great fucking time. And the other one is we covered this Halloween for Dennis at Etchison script in great detail in, in the video that I'll put below and at the end of this. So please subscribe, hit the bell, check those videos out. But thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Thank you guys for all you fucking do. You're amazing. And by God, we love you. What are you going to do on October 31st? What are you going to do on October 31st? Here comes that white-faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit, wants to stab your sister's tits because he's a white-faced fucker. Loomis can't recover, Dr. Challenge drunk again, sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you want to know about the darkness? I said God damn. God damn you, my God. I said God damn. A lot of people don't know the darkness that goes inside their hearts. I said God damn. What are you gonna do on October 31st?